What is going on you guys? Welcome back to Feeling Timekeeping. It's your boy that got you with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about vintage. Um, just vintage fashion watches, vintage timepieces, however you want to put it. And I have a couple here with me that are in my personal collection. One's inventory, one's my personal collection. I just want to talk about kind of my vibe of it. So the one that's in my inventory is this Fossil Architect square type. This is the FS3042 quartz movement, stainless steel construction. I got this black band on here and, you know, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, it came out in about 1996, so older than me, 25 years old. And then I also have one in my personal collection, which is this Fossil Architect Automatic. This is Fossil FS, I believe, 4139, 4139 on a brown strap. All right, fully automatic. This thing is a thickums. All right, so let me compare the two. This thing is a absolute thickums. All right, absolute thickums. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is I want to talk about like the pros and cons of vintage fashion watches and kind of how to go about it, right? So the number one thing that's gonna be a pro is obviously gonna be price because these are not, again, luxury timepieces. You're gonna find these for next to nothing. So. I guarantee you when these first came out, retail was probably over a hundred bucks because that's just how it was. Maybe it was around right a hundred dollars. Inflation and things like that were a little bit different back then. But so I actually got this one, 20 bucks, right? Got that one for $20 and I got this one for 28. I fully automatic watch that runs beautifully. The day function on it works and everything. The day function on the other one works as well for 20 bucks, essentially just under $30 for the other one. So the cost is going to be there. Now, what's not going to be there is going to be information. Unless it is a highly known vintage piece that you're dealing with, you're not going to be able to find much information on it. And so when you're trying to maybe resell it or get, you know, manufacturing info or um, the movement or like what's required for it, straps for it, things like that, that are original, it's going to be very, very hard to find because of what it is. It's just, it's vintage. It's old. Fossil does not make these anymore. And so unless you can find a listing for it online, find it somewhere else on a different website, or you know a person who has a bunch of old pieces or maybe antique shops or whatever, you're not really gonna find a lot of info on these. I actually got uh, the silver one off of OfferUp. I bought it from somebody uh, originally for a flip. And then I actually bought this Fossil Automatic from a pawn shop. So I was able to get it from a pawn shop, an easy pawn at that, and actually really dig into it and get in there. So now that I have these and I've, you know, had a lot of time to wear them and play with them and things like that. Again, also one of the pros is going to be uniqueness is uniqueness in the fact that these are not being made anymore. So a lot of people are not going to have these. If anybody's really going to have them, they've probably been discarded, thrown away, sitting at in someone's watch box or pawn shop or closet or garbage can somewhere, not really um, being worn as they should. So now you have these and people are like, you know, like, oh, what is that? And it gives you that bit of ex exclusivity because nobody else has it, especially when you learn how to take care of it. And, you know, you want to keep things as original as possible. So you really just try to find that way to make class. And I am a big fan of changing out straps just for comfortability. So this black strap from this Foster Architect is actually the original strap for this one, but I just didn't really like it on here. I feel like the brown really brought out the that rose gold bronze look of the case a lot better. So I actually wore it like that. So I want to know, uh, what do you think about vintage pieces? Again, um, I think they're really, really good. They're really easy to get your hands on, especially for fashion brands. The next video you're going to see from me is going to really be talking about fashion brands. My particular favorites, ones that I absolutely detest, and kind of how to go about getting your hands on something decent. So... Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Holla back to your boy. Peace.